Now I'd like to talk about casting shadows. We can actually uh, find out where the shadows from an object would be cast if uh, the sun were shining and this is very useful especially if you are required to create a shadow diagram for uh, submission of plans to a council or somebody and uh, before you can actually accurately work out where shadows are going to fall you need to know where on the planet of Earth your model is going to be and uh, to do that uh, is sometimes a bit tricky if you don't actually really know where the building is going to be in terms of its uh, longitude and its latitude. Now there is a technique that you can use to find these things out and I'm about to show you how you can find out what your longitude and what your latitude is or at any particular place. And I'll go into the browser here. I'm going to type maps.google.com.au. Now, of course, if you're in another country, and I've just made a typing error there, so I'll just fix that up. Uh, you will want to go into the particular, Google, probably just maps.google.com. And here we are, we've got a map of Sydney here. And if I zoom up on this map and go and find uh, Hornsby, which of course is where we are at the moment. Here we are over there, there's Hornsby College. And uh, if we take the college itself to be uh, pretty much here, then what we can do is we put our cursor over that point and we right click and we just, we come down here and say what's here. And when we click that, it tells us what's here, but it also tells us in longitude and latitude uh, what the uh, what the position of this building is. Now it says here that this is minus 33.699 seven one seven uh, in longitude and in latitude it's one hundred and fifty one point zero nine seven one two zero one two now you'll notice that the uh, the thirty three degrees dimension is a minus dimension and that's important because that puts us in the southern hemisphere now I've just written those dimensions down or those measurements and what I'm going to do is go back to SketchUp and I'm going into Window Model Info. And in Model Info, there's a part here called Geolocation. And I'll click on that and I'm going to set the location manually. Now, it's just helpful if we type in here that we are going to be in Australia and we might even type in here that we're going to be in Hornsby. Now, our latitude is going to be minus 33.699717. We probably don't really need that many decimal places, but nevertheless. Uh, and now we're going to be 151.0971. And when we say OK, we don't actually see anything happen, but we will now know that this particular object has been located at the same place as Hornsby TAFE. And now if I go into Windows and turn on the shadows, you'll see that we get up a little diagram here, which gives us, or I should say a dialog box, which asks us some questions. We also have to go to view and turn the shadows on and now you'll see a shadow cast down here. Now I can change the time of day. Now watch the shadow move. So this is early in the morning and this coming across is uh, pretty much the middle of the day and then going across into the afternoon. Now of course the sun 
goes across to the north of us and depending on the time of the year which you can set here in the middle of the winter the shadows are longer and in the middle of summer the shadows are shorter so if we exaggerate by going pretty much to the middle of winter here and moving you can see the movement of the shadow from the morning when the sun is coming from the east and the shadows are flying to the west here where the sun is coming from the north and the shadows are going to the south and of course here where the shadows the sun is shining from the west and the shadows are going to the east now what that simply means is that this green solid line is pointing to the north so if we're going to set our model up in a way that we uh, are going to get some accurate shadows first of all we have to know which way north is and set our model up accordingly and secondly we need to know our actual location and thirdly if we want to set the shadow diagrams up we need to know the time of day and the time of year when the shadow is going to be cast quite typically councils like to know where the shadows are going to be at nine o'clock in the morning which is about there and they like to know where the shadows are going to be at three o'clock in the afternoon which is about there and by taking the view from the top you can actually zoom out and if you can put your neighbors buildings in place on the plan then this will show you what influence the shading of your building will have on your neighbors buildings and this is important to councils when you're putting in a building application 